just make a radio call and then we'll get on our way. Great. Ellensburg area traffic, helicopter 7534 Delta on the ramp will be departing across the runway to uh, towards Wenatchee. I'll just dial Wenatchee into here too, so I don't do that in flight. All right, here we go. Let's see what kind of wind we got. Oh, yeah, you're a big boy. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And Ellsberg traffic, uh, helicopter 34 Delta's crossing the runway. Yeah, you can see uh, Mount Rainier today and Mount Adams. So is that uh, Stewart Peak over there? That's definitely Mount Stewart Peak. Yeah. Okay, all right. Mount Stewart. Like Mount Stewart. All right, so let me just get out clear of the airport here. Sure. And then you can, all right, go ahead. Oh, this is just a thrill, number one. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you, yeah. and, and uh, I've been a fan of your videos, and oh. my God, to have you just pop out of the sky and pick me up. <laughs> I'm just thrilled. That's what you're supposed to be saying. You're supposed to be introducing yourself. <laughs> I have to say, though, uh, I've got several people. You see how we're flying kind of sideways here? It's because yeah. of that wind. Yeah, sure. Um, I've got uh, several people who are subscribers to the channel and have suggested you, so they're going to be tickled when they see this. Well, that's nice. So introduce yourself to everyone who doesn't know who you are. Well, sure. My name is Nick. Uh, last name is Zentner. I've been teaching here in Ellensburg at the college, Central Washington University, for almost 30 years. I've been here a long time. And this is a perfect place for my wife and I to raise our kids, and, and the geology is absolutely staggering. There's no shortage of cool stuff to talk about, so I'm looking forward to seeing some of this stuff from this vantage point, Maria. Okay. Good. And you've been dealing with a little bit of pointing out certain geology things I've noticed in a few of your videos. I try to... Um, I. I'm from Arizona before this. I was, I'm actually originally from the New York metro area. Um, and read, Arizona has... I read your Wikipedia page. Oh, you did? <laughs> um, <laughs> All right there. Yeah, there you go. go um, I, um, you know, Arizona's got amazing geology, too. Sure, and I can tell you stories about that, too. But I came up here to do cherry drawing back in uh, 2008. And I started seeing these weird land, land formations. Uh, the one that really blew me away was uh, Lower Moses Cooley, which of course I didn't know it by that name at the time. Absolutely. But I'm like, look at this giant canyon, and there's no creek in here. How did yes. this even form? Yes. And then I, that same year, I was up at the um, uh, the Cooley Dam, Grand Cooley Dam, okay. uh, with my ex-husband, husband, and uh, we uh, saw this video about the Ice Age floods, and sure. it just like, oh. That, that makes total sense. And then I started actively looking for signs of, of all this stuff. Um, and it's in your face uh, in our area. Not it is. This is only here, but. It is, and Ellensburg and Wenatchee are, are, uh, are on the margin of the Ice Age flood stuff. And then there's all this other non-Ice Age flood stuff as well. I mean, if it was just Ice Age floods, that would be enough probably for most folks to have a great time doing some geology, but my goodness, we you just pointed out Mount Stewart and the Stewart Range and Mount Rainier and Mount Adams, those have nothing to do with the Ice Age floods, and those are all a whole other set of stories. And so you know, when we've started making these programs for the public, the producers keep saying, well, I'm sure you're going to run out of stuff, right? Like, should we, <laughs> shall we, shall we move to Oregon or Idaho or something? I'm like, no, I, I think there's an unlimited supply right here. I still don't think they believe me, but um, we keep keep coming up with topics that, that have the visuals to really make it all work. Right. And the videos are great. He's talking about the Nick on the Rocks series, uh, and I'm going to put links in them in the description for this video and the other ones that I do uh, with Nick on board. Nice. And um, Mount Stewart, there's one about Mount Stewart, so that'll go in there. Yep. And uh, any anyone that's uh, specifically related to something we see today, I'll be putting the link in there. And definitely check them out. They're, uh, they're short, which I know people don't like really long videos, so they're short. He does that better than I do. And the, uh, the um, visual aids are great. He's got some great drone photography in there, and he's got some great uh, simulations, of, of the, especially of the flood stuff. Um, we were just talking about um, the one for dry falls and how terrifying it is. 
Well, yeah. I mean, you know, if we if we get up to Dry Falls at some point, we can we can get into the details there. But I always thought that that was an undersold part of of, of visiting Dry Falls. Everybody pictured Niagara Falls, this kind of quaint little place <laughs> to go and take your honeymoon, wow. you know. And it was it was not that docile. It was much more impressive and dramatic and scary, as you say. Well, this is this is one of my favorite canyons. I I, I saw you uh, I flew fly up this up last this time just recently. Yes, uh, the Nanum Canyon. Uh, and drift a little more over that way. There's there's just so much going on here. But the the basic message that we've got all these slopes that we're flying over right now, and they're sloping to the south. And of course, the creeks themselves are are draining to the south as well. These are the giant lava flows that were originally flat, but have been tilted. Uh, uh, basically, you can think of the Kittitas Valley dropping down and Mission Ridge dropping up. So without that tilting, uh, we could have driven to your place over in Malaga and not, <laughs> and not had to do this up and over thing. Yeah. Um, and this particular canyon is, is enormous, and yet there's hardly anybody in it because they've got it gated. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. I've always wondered. Uh, in fact, I had a couple of local guys take me into the into the Nanum here uh, last summer, and we had to go up Robinson, up and over a, a pass on these old Forest Service roads, and then drop into this. And I kept saying, why can't we just drive up this thing? They say, well, they got it gated. There's a couple of little sections of private land. And, uh -oh. uh, they've been able to kind of uh, successfully keep that gate locked. And so wow. most, most of this is in our land, I'm not totally sure, but most of it's public land, in other words, but yet, uh, boy, you got the place to yourself if you're willing to mountain bike up in here or, or drive up and around. Oh, coming with a helicopter, but <laughs> not yeah. sure if that's allowed. <laughs> Jury's out on that. But yeah, this is the canyon I came up in the Ellensburg to, um, El Ellensburg to a friend's house video, and uh, but I was about, oh gosh, about 500 feet lower when I came up here, yeah. so I was in the canyon right now, pretty much above the canyon trying to go more direct to Wenatchee so we can get started with that part. Totally. But, uh, well, the thing I like about this drainage here is uh, the shape. Uh, so this is what you get if you have gradual tectonic uplift against a, a, a stream. No major glacier, no ice age floods. And so we've got kind of a, a kind of a subtle kind of V-shaped valley. And uh, I don't think folks generally think about why valleys exist where they do, but oftentimes here in the American West, it's just a tectonic uplift against kind of uh, rivers holding their own. And you know that very well from the Grand Canyon. Right, area. sure. That's a, obviously an extreme example. Oh, now there's some cool exposure yeah. to some basalts I didn't know about. See, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping you would see places here oh my God. Uh, that you didn't uh, know about. What a treat. Yeah, yeah, there's things that we see, like I see stuff all the time. And, yeah. yeah. Um, so these giant lava flows, um, when people realize they're lava flows, and I think you mentioned that there's some beautiful lava flows right behind your house yeah. there. Uh, I think people naturally assume that they're, the, the source of the lavas must be right here. But in, in the case of these guys, these lavas came out of the ground over by Idaho and flowed to the west. And some of these guys right in here are called the Grand Ronde Lavas, and each of those flows are more than 100 feet thick. Yeah. So there's a, a whole sequence of this kind of layer cake. It's like the Grand Canyon, but it's every layer is chocolate brown as yeah. opposed to those different colors. Now, this is not exactly national park status because we didn't have quite the uplift that... Uh, did you fly in the Grand Canyon? I flew. Uh, I flew at the Grand Canyon for a tour company. Oh wow! Uh, back in 2004, so I was flying over the Grand Canyon about 13 times a day. Seriously? Yeah, it was. It was fun. But my first experience inside the Grand Canyon uh, was on a rafting trip, and it was a seven-day trip, and uh, we were passengers on a motorized raft. It, they call them. Jeez, uh, I think they call them baloney boats. Um, they're like Vietnam-era boats. Anyway. Um, so we're, we're going down, there's like 15 of us on the boat, and the guy next to us is just like talking about the rocks, and just talking about the rocks, and talking about the rocks. 
And finally we turned to him and said, Ed, hey Ed, what's the deal? Why do you know so much about rocks? He goes, well, I'm a geologist. <laughs> and so I went down the Grand Canyon in a raft next to a geologist. It was very educational. He would get, he got so excited when he saw unconformities. Oh yeah. Oh, he would just be, and then he'd explain to us what it was all about. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is dramatic. Yep, this is it. We're coming oh, over the ridge. Oh, Lord in heaven. So Mission Ridge, the ski resort is out that way. We're a little bit to the, I guess, east of it. Yep. And, uh... Oh, my God. A little bit of a shortcut. That would be uh, Jump Off Ridge out there going around. If you know Jump Off Ridge at all. Well, I do, and, and I assume you know this, but for your viewers, we are, one of the excitement things we're, I'm getting excited now, my voice is uh, raising <laughs> a couple of octaves. This is one of the biggest landslides, maybe the biggest landslide in Washington, right here. Oh, right here? This yeah. This whole thing drops oh, called the Malaga Slide. Okay. And so, oh, jump, yeah, okay. Jump Off Ridge is a place that did not go, but everything between Jump Off and on the other side of Wenatchee Heights, yeah. that's why all these lakes exist. This is all blocks that have slid down and screwed up the drainage. Yep, and I can show you, I want to show you, I'm going off course now because I want to show you where there was a slide recently, uh, maybe two years ago. Oh, really? Inside um, the ski resort there, oh, wow. Mission Ridge. Let me see if we can find it. It's, a, oh. it's definitely out of the way, but eh, it's worth it, worth a shot. Yeah, I got, this is impressive. I got full fuel, so we're good.